<laughs> Hopefully didn't go to the backstop. That does it. It's on a line to right, and it's run down with a great sliding catch by Yuto Ichi in right field. A rocket past the dive of Yujiro Kume in the right center. Yoda Morikawa cuts it off, and Lucas Weiser stings one for a two-out single. Guys, meditate. And a strikeout for Ryo Ayabe to end the top of the first. Shohei Otani, even though Shohei was here in Williamsport last year when Team Japan should have been here had we had international teams. But Weiser begins with a strikeout of Takimoto. Well, that is a hitter. Just misses at a five pitch walk, and Japan's third baseman Kaido Oda gets aboard with one out in the first. Commute down the hill to Volunteer Stadium for Canada and Japan in the first inning. After Canada came up empty in the top of the first, Japan has a couple of base runners here in the bottom of the first. And as you here's the cleanup man, Suzuki Tamimoto, the first baseman, and he hits a bullet right at the first baseman, Jackson Mayervich, who turns it into two. Hello. Mayor Mitch, have a whiz, hot shot. Make it the grab, and you got your runner right in front of you. Quick double play, helps his pitcher out, get out of this one. This Little League in Canada, this Little League, it's their second trip here. We've had some great defense over at first base. So Suki Tamimoto, who has been all smiles the first two innings, makes a diving stab on Graydon Yan. Yeah, just a nice hard hit ball. Um, and just stayed up a little long for third and first baseman to make a diving snatch. And, you know, you just see the smiles. It's all, this is what it's about, just the smiles that are going around on the field. But just, just the discipline in, on defense is amazing to see. This is lined over Kaido Oda in the left field. And a two strike single slapped the other way by Omar Busmina. Larder came off the bench Wednesday. He had a base knock. He gets a start today and squares one up to short. And there's the fine defense, Mona, you were talking about. Jin Takimoto with a stumble, but he's all right. And he gets the out, helping out the younger guys to come here and hit bullets like that. Takudo Tsuchiya, the catcher, ropes one to right center, and he's got a leadoff double for Japan to begin the bottom of the second. First pitch swinging from Yujiro Kume in the center field right at Braden Lai Hainstock. One away and more hard contact. Out on Iota Morikawa, the center fielder, who works a walk. Second one issued by Canada's starting pitcher, Lucas Weiser. Players. In the case of Lee and one of the players, they have tested positive for COVID. And then the other player, thankfully it's not, pitched on Wednesday in relief for Canada. And that's outside ball four. So the second walk of the inning loads the bases for Japan in the second as their lineup flips over. Plant first base. Dream job retirement. And with the bases loaded and two outs, he gets a fly ball into center. And Braden Lai Hainstock ends the inning. 2 2 on the way from Ayabe. And he gets a strikeout. His second of the evening. And the first down here in the third. Use the speed to get, you know, base hit. This one goes behind him, and it's a four-pitch walk and a one-out base runner. Third straight inning that Canada has had a base runner aboard against Ayabe. Able to really come inside. Beautiful breaking ball from Ayabe, and it's his second strikeout this inning. The batter's armpits and the top of the knees when the batter assumes a natural stance. Lucas Weiser does not wait around. He singles into left field. And for the first time tonight, Canada has two aboard. Elevated fastball. Back to the breaking ball, and it's popped up in foul ground. And Kato Oda puts it away with little room to spare. Inside corner, strike three calls. Good spot from Jackson Mayervich, who came on for the final out in the second. You know, just stuck. With it's Jelly so Legs. fun. Yeah. Hard hit ball in the left by Ayabe, who's got his second hit in three innings. 
Where'd you learn your curveball? It is so important Mechanic. to throw it the right way. Ground ball is knocked down by Graydon Yan, and he flips in time to Ellis St. James for the force. To go. It's a nice hard hit ball, and, you know, way to stay with that. You know, normally you kind of give up on it, but he was able to just stay with it and make sure he got that for sure first out. This level, yeah. Breaking ball strikes out Suchia. And a good one from Jackson Mayervich. He bookends a scoreless third with a couple of Ks. Work for me. <laughs> That's amazing you could calm yourself that much. Sag strikes out. And quick work for Ryo Ayabe. How about a five pitch inning? One, two, three in the fourth. Hiro Kume, the second baseman for Japan. And Jackson Mayervich strikes him out. We go over to Sebastian Salazar. To me, the bats mean get some good ones, test out the one that you want, get in the cage. With two outs and a runner aboard, first pitch swinging, and a blooper in the left for Ryuzo Nakazono. He can coach first base, and he can stroke singles in the left. I mean, he likes to sleep when he's not playing baseball. <laughs> Ground ball to third, and it kicks away. Onto the outfield grass, good backup from Ellis St. James, and the bases are loaded for Japan. Nothing changes for him. And he strikes out Oda. Yeah, with a bounce in his step. That's a K strut. That's a Euro. That's coming at you, pitching ninja. Two and two on their son, Ben Dartnell. And he strikes out against Ryo Ayabe for the first down of the fifth. And you heard Sebastian talking about that comebacker. Ayabe's 2-2 pitch is a good one. Ayabe strikes out Fabro, and now it's six strikeouts and three consecutive for the Japanese right-hander. Out a triple. Lines this one toward third and right at Kato Oda. And now it's seven in a row set down by Ryo Ayabe. He's like, no one's counting us in. And as this game keeps going, by the way, it's true the pressure puts more. 3 2 count on Tommy Moto. Up and in, did he go? Yes, he did, according to Henry Garnett. Next pitch. Stuck with a breaking ball. He buried it, and he strikes out Suchia. The front foot, yeah. And he laces it past the first baseman, Dartnell, in the right. Another bullet. When there's been contact from Japan, they have been ropes. And there's two on. That pitch. You want that pitch so bad. That is strike three called. Mayrovich comes back by grazing the outside edge, freezing Morikawa. And three Ks in the inning. That hits Hainstock. And a leadoff hit batter puts a runner aboard for Canada, who we told you they've already played a game, so. Really close to the line, and then you have the gaps in between. And right over the sixth spot, that's in the left center from Weiser. Hainstock goes first to third on a double from Lucas Weiser. You've got to place it good against this Japanese defense. Pitch Canada's cleanup man. First pitch swinging, past the shortstop in the left field. Hainstock scores, they stop Weiser at third, and Canada leads in the sixth inning. Jackson Mayervich had herself a Little League World Series. I mean, why most players come in here hoping for a hit. For Mayervich, this is his fifth hit. He had four in the opener against Australia. None is bigger than this one right here. It's been a scoreless game. Canada has not been able to figure out a way to get a run against Japan until now. It comes to the top of the sixth. Score another run. Ellis St. James, the batter, and he drops down a buck. Back at Oda, who goes to first. Weezer to the plate. He scores and makes it 2 0. Small ball from Canada to add on in the sixth. We get it! 
You call this a safety squeeze. So basically, you're just reading the situation. Get the butt down. Now you got your runner at third base is just waiting for that throw to happen, especially if you get far enough off the bat. Watch the read. You see Weiser, just enough momentum. And Doing really well from the start. They uh, they ripped through the provincials and the nationals, and, and we're here, we're having a great time. I think they're just really pumped up from all the fans and the excitement and playing in such a great tough. Uh, Unplayed the Little League World Series. Oh, man, it's a, it's a, it's a tough one. That's a tough one. Oh. Yeah! Not so tough right there. There's a good one. Guys, I'll send it back up to you. We're making friends all over here at Volunteer Stadium. And here's Ben Dartnell. First pitch swinging in the air to right and to the wall. Liberatore scores. Yan right behind him. Busmina to the plate. Three runs in on the bases clearing double from Ben Dartnell. seen Ben come in this game by the way off the bench this is his second at bat in the game and this one he just meets we've talked a lot about elevated fastballs watch the swing this isn't a huge I'm trying to hit it out of the park swing in fact it's three quarter yet once you meet that elevated fastball barrel gets on it a long way going and three more runs for Canada at the top of the six brings up Alden you Rolls this one, first base side, and Oda takes it himself for out number two. Two, because there's always that next round you're getting ready for. Then Meichenbaum bounces it to second, and Kume doesn't get it over there to Tommy Moto. Dartnell scores, and now it's 6 nothing Canada. Fortunately, Japan gave up that hit-by-pitch, and then the base hit and it just unfolds. Ayane throws out Hainstock. The inning is over, but the damage done. 3 2. Strike three calls. 8K for Mayervich, and there's one away. Screaming. <laughs> <laughs> two down. 1 2. Struck him out. Canada is 2 0. Final score 6 0. Canada over Japan.